Hello friends, I'm Varun Vora and welcome to my channel IT with Varun Vora to master the fundamentals. Friends, as we are making progress on our ITGC journey, I got a few questions related to this important concept which you will keep on hearing across different assessments is the point in time versus a period of time control. So I've decided to cover this topic in a separate video today as it may help all of you. So today we'll understand what is meant by point in time versus period of time control in the context of risk, audit or compliance world. So as the name suggests, point in time simply implies to be in a particular moment. And then there are several control areas like privilege access, password settings, where we would get a snapshot of the control environment in a given time example when you talk about these control areas we are talking about settings or accounts which were like that at that given moment so you'll get a snapshot of how the accounts or the settings looked in a given moment that's the reason such controls are referred to as point in time controls on the other hand the second category is the period of time control which refers to a definite period the testing related to control areas like provisioning terminations change management they will all involve requesting evidence for a definite period of time like getting a listing of accounts created or removed in last six months or one year getting a list of changes deployed in last six months such controls are referred to as period of time control because they have a definite period they are related to. Now why is this concept helpful? We need to understand the difference between point in time control versus a period of time control because it will help you differentiate the level of coverage or assurance a control area can provide. So point in, point in time controls are always in a snapshot of time while period of time controls will cover a definite time period so the level of coverage for different controls will differ that's the reason this concept is helpful to segregate between these control sets so just a quick recap the question was around the difference between the point in time versus the period of time control point in time control as the name suggests it's in a particular moment examples are privilege access, password settings, where you are talking about something in a snapshot of time, settings or accounts or whatever it is. Period of time control is related to a definite period as the name suggests. Examples are new user, terminations, change management and the like, where you are talking about a control area which will involve a definite time period for testing. I hope the video helped to understand the terms point in time and period of time. If you have more such questions, please reach out to the YouTube comment section and I'll, I'll be happy to create a separate video if required. Friends, please use the hashtag IT with Warren Wara when reaching out to help spread the word and awareness about the channel. Thanks and stay tuned for more. See you next time. Till then. Bye.